Hi everyone, this is Kasia. I'm feeling artsy and today we're going to draw this cute Mexican girl wearing a traditional outfit. If you enjoy drawing with me, make sure you subscribe down below. To complete this project, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil and then something to color with. I'm going to use markers. We will begin by drawing her head and to do so, we're going to draw a circle. Draw it lightly in case you need to erase something later. Correct yourself. Once you have your circle, I'm going to draw a light line going through the middle that will separate two halves of her face. And I'm going to draw another line going through the middle this way. And also this one's going to be light as well. And then I'm going to draw another line that is about a third of the way from the bottom. So imagine one, two, three. And this is how big her eyes will be. I'm going to make her eyes real big. Um, so to do the eye, I'm going to do the top eyelid first like this. And then I'm going to mark the sides like this. And finally, I'll do the bottom here. I'm going to put a little line here in the corner of her eye. And inside of her eye, I'm going to draw a really large pupil. And inside the pupil, pupil there will be a light speckle. You can color this black or you can wait until you color. She will have eyelashes coming up here. And also another little line right here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So top eyelid, a little line. Now sides of her iris. So it's almost like if you had a circle, but you just don't see the top and bottom part of it. Then at the bottom, a little curved line. And inside a large pupil with a light speckle and a tiny line up top. Also eyelashes. Once we have the eyes, we're gonna draw the nose and I'm just gonna make it um, two little dots right here. For the lips, I'm going to draw the middle line first. I'm gonna make the lips small. And then the top part will be like drawing the top of a heart and the bottom will be just like a U-shape. I'm gonna give her um, little cheeks like this. So two circles. Her ears fall in between, where, like in between the eye and the nose. So I'm gonna just do two half moon shapes like this, one on each side. Now I'm gonna give her a really skinny neck right here, so two little lines. And then a U-like line here for her neckline. And there will be some lace here. So just draw little U's, one, two, as many as you can fit around her neck. Now let's go and do her hair. Um, we're gonna go above her head, so another this distance, about this much, above her head. And then go outside of her head until you're right in front of her ear right here. So this will be her hair, it will be really sleek. And then here on her forehead, I'm gonna go a same, the same distance in. So about this much in here. And then I'm gonna swoop down and to the side and in like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I wanna end up here from here. So go outside of her head. And then again from this line, I'm gonna go down and out and come in until I meet this. Now she's going to have ribbon in her hair 
and I'm gonna do four so I'm gonna do you like shape loops and the top one will be the smallest and the second one and they'll get bigger and bigger and there will be four of them and now I'm gonna try to match it on the other side so write it out here right about here right about here and right about here and around it I'm gonna make loops now she also have some hair that is tied behind her head and we can see it here so I'm going to make a little loop like this so that's where the light is and then a poofy piece of the hair and again on both sides and so that's her face and her head and now we'll, let's continue with her body so on, the, on each side here we're gonna draw her shoulders then I'm gonna go down like an upside down trapezoid and this is this will be her waistline and she's gonna have a belt at her waist like this for her sleeves they'll be nice and poofy so make a poof and then a straight line and then draw some more lace like this and the same thing on the other side and in and draw some lace now her skirt I'm gonna try to make it wider than her head and she's gonna hold it to each side so like this and it's a circle skirt so I'm gonna try to make a circle here and I'm almost running out of page and I want to make sure this is about the same size Now her arms will go here to the side like this and bend out and then her hand will hold her skirt so we're going to draw a little upside down U that is behind her skirt and a bump coming out in the front she's holding her skirt and I'm going to do that on the other side as well so her arm bends this is her hand and her thumb coming down here now on her skirt she has a star here in the center so I'm going to find the center about here and I'm going to draw a V and a second V because it's a ribbon and then it's going to go to the side here and the last piece will be here and the same thing on the other side so another V going this way here's the inside of it and finally it goes on the side of her skirt and then here all along there will be more ribbons and more colors and I'm just gonna draw a bunch of lines draw as many as you want depending on how many different colors you want to put on the skirt and um, finally her feet are right here at the very edge of my paper um, you can either not draw her feet and imagine that her skirt is really long and it's covering her feet or you can draw tiny little shoes that will be just like you like shapes like this okay I think my drawing is done I'm gonna come in now with my marker and I'm going to outline everything while I'm outlining I like to just pick the line that I think is the best so if I have multiple lines here I always try to pick the one that looks the best and that's the one I outline and then I'm going to come back with an eraser and I will erase all of the lines I no longer need especially like the ones going through her face and then I'm going to color her I'm going to use markers you can use the same exact materials I am using and I'm linking to everything at the bottom of this video 
or you can use colored pencils you can use crayons you can use um, any kind of markers or you can even use paint Okay, I hope you like my drawing. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and come back to see me soon.